Hello, welcome to Vindao's Academy. And today, I want us to look at these tricks. It's very important. Please, should I need them for you? Don't watch and not subscribe. Please, watch, subscribe, like, and comment. You can't be having 10,000 views and you're having just 100 likes. That's not good. So please, try to support what we are doing here. It's not easy doing this, actually. But fine, we are enjoying it, all right? So... Tricks in rectangular glass prism. So, I'm going to caption this. Don't do the experiment. Manipulate it. So, how then do you manip... How then... How then do you manipulate this experiment? Before I tell you how you can manipulate it, look at this. This constant is equal to sine of i all over sine of r what is i i is incident angle and r is refracted angle that's the first thing you should know so if they give you i to be 60 degrees you should know that n for a glass prism is always 1.5 so if you substitute it here, you're going to say that 1.5 is equal to sine 60 degrees all over sine r. Make r the subject formula. How do you do this? Clear the fraction you have sine r is equal to sine 60 all over 1.5. Sine 60 is 0 0.8660 all over 1.5. Then sine r is what? 0 0.8660 divided by 1.5, you have 0 0.7, 0 0.573, 0 0.5773. Then R is going to be sine inverse 0 0.5773. R is sine inverse of 0 0.5773. So you see that R is 35.3 degrees. So you see, so therefore, in a rectangular glass prism, if you say that, if you, if you are asked to say record I in degree, record R in degree, then you can now say that under, let's say, 60.00, R is going to be 35.30. So if they say use I to be 70, you can also put it here. Put it here and make our subject formula to find your corresponding refracted ray. But that is, by the way, there is one more thing I want to show you. What I have just done is when light is passing from when light is passing from air, this is incident angle, into the glass, this is the refracted angle. But what if you are given something like this? This is the rectangular blot A, B, C, D, and you are asked to find your, and you are given this. This is angle you are given. Remember that this I will be the same thing here as I, because they are alternate angle. And then what you are looking for is this one refracted angle how do you find this case because this first one let me complete this one this one is called air to glass so from air to glass when light is passing from air into the glass this is where you say that this n which is the constant refractive index is 1.5 or the same thing as 15 over 10 which is 5 over 3. This is the first thing. But what if light is passing from glass into air? How do you manipulate that? In that case, you are going to say that air into glass is equal to 1 all over glass into air. Air into glass is 1.5. That is the refractive index. is equal to 1 all over glass into air. So in that case, because inside here is glass, and light is passing from the glass out inside the air. 
So what is the refractive index? With this, you can trick it. When you do this, you clear the fraction. You say that glass into the air is equal to 1 all over 1.5. Remember that this is 1 all over 15 over 10. And this is the same thing as 10 over 15, which is something as 5 into 10 is going to be 2 all over. 5 into 15 is going to be 3. Therefore, when light is passing from glass into air, the refractive index is 2 over 3, or it's going to be 0 0.67. So in this case, you have the ability to manipulate because whatever light is going to bring, there are two things. It's either light is passing from air into glass, or light is passing from glass into air. That is all, based on the, the apparatus they gave us this year. So for this reason, if you are given I like this, and you are looking for this R, because sometimes they will give you this side. They will ask you to measure here. So remember, from here all the way to this place is 90 degrees. If you have R, you say 90 minus whatever you get here, you get this part, which is called the glancing angle. Also this place, you may be given this place. Let's call it alpha. Whatever you are given, know that alpha plus i must be 90 degrees. So you say alpha plus i must be what? 90 degrees. Because it's complementary. The same thing, r plus theta is also going to be 90 degrees. So with this understanding, you are given an angle with the normal i to be 10 degrees. So I remember if I is 10 degrees, it means this same place is 10 degrees. They are alternate. I said that in the first place. So how then do you find a refractive angle? With that, you are you've keyed your experiment. So the next thing you are going to say is two all over three, because that is the refractive index, which is equal to sine through the glass, which is 10 degrees. That is, I'm saying that if I is equal to 10 degrees, all over sine of refraction then what do you do you clear the fraction this is still the same thing as going to be sine r is equal to sine 10 all over 0 0.67 remember i said that 2 over 2 is something as 0 So, sine 10 is 0 0.17736 all over 0 0.6700. This is divided by 0 0.1736 divided by 0 0.6700. So, we say that sine of R is equal to 0 0.2591. Therefore, refractive index R, let me finish it here, is going to be sine inverse, sine inverse of 0 0.2591, which is 15.02 degrees. So if you go here and put 15.02, therefore, 90 minus 15.02 you are having 74.98. So you have this angle at that point. So what do you do? You can now form your table of values. You say this is I in degree and this is R in degree. This is 10.00 and R is going to be 15.02. And theta is going to be also degrees. is going to be 74.98. So with this, you go back the same again, put, remove this 10, maybe put 15, we complete the experiment, uh, I mean, carry out the calculation again, and then fill up your, your table. But after manipulation, you must draw, you must use your white paper, draw the diagrams in your white paper, use the pin and point wherever they say you should point so that they will think you point it. You understand? Because if you don't point it, they will think you copied from somebody or you manipulated it. Just use the pin, point whatever they say you should point, draw the whole diagram, measure the angles, let them look like you carried out the experiment. In 10 minutes,
you are done with the whole of experiment on this one. Attach all of them to your question paper and off you go. That was how we used to do sometimes. And it has worked perfectly because the result is always showing. Thank you for being part of this lesson. Remember, please, I am begging you, don't leave without liking this page, commenting, and at least subscribing. And God will bless you. As I'm going to bring you a trick for the electricity. Thank you.